Hi, this is iPad Tutorial Dudes, and today we're going to be showing you how to do this with your iPhone and iPad Touch. How to do this from your computer, and you can still manipulate it from your iPad. See here? Now, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to download three simple things. Um, I have the links to them in the video description, but first, I'll show you the things you need to download from Rock or Cydia. What you're going to do is you're going to go to the search button, type in V E E. This is useful for if you want to like text or something, then you can type it on your computer rather than typing on the small touch screen on your iPad. Now we're going to need to download two things from Rock. This VNC thing right here, you're going to download this. And you may have to stop restart, but you can just do that on exit because you have to do get one more thing. Now this is very important that you download this. Open SSH. Search that. You download this. Now, after you download this, I'll show you how to get all the things you need to get from your computer. So, all the links I have in the video description right here links. I'll show you how this works. The first one you need to do is this is how you can this is um called open SSH. You can get this. You can hack some games from it. You just basically say run. At, you go to the link, say direct download and run. That's all you need to do for that one. The next one is real VNC. It takes you to the link takes you to this screen. You don't need to fill out anything, just type in proceed to, click on proceed to download click on this first one for Windows, the first one. And the last thing you need to do is go on this link that takes you to foreshared.com. You click the download now, no virus detected version thing. And then after the 20 seconds, you download it. And then it'll go to wherever you say and you save the file. You don't need to open it to save it to a certain file and then you can drag it onto your desktop. See right here? You can on your desktop. So those are the three things you need to download. Now, what you need to do is you need to get the open SSH thing. So what you need to do basically, you need to go to settings, go to Wi-Fi, and click on the network that you have, and you'll have your IP address. You need to remember that because when you click on the WinSP thing that you downloaded, for your host name, you're going to type in your IP address. Then for the username, you're going to type in root. And for the password, you're going to type in alpine. Except I changed my password, but you can... The first time you need to type in alpine. And this is very important, that on your iPod, you click on the home button. So it's not in the settings. And in your SPS settings, you make sure to see this SSH thing right here. Make sure that that is on, otherwise this will not work. So you do that, and then type in login, and it will do this. It may ask you that and may not. And then it will open up this. Now, this is where you need to get this VNC thing. This is where you need this for. So what you need to do on the right side of this, go back once, go back twice, twice, and click on bar. Scroll down, click on mobile. Then go to downloads and then drag this VNC thing into downloads. Say copy, and what it does, say yes is it just puts this inside your iPod. Now that's the first thing you need to do to get this to work. Next thing you need to do is download another thing on your iPod. This is called iFile. This may take a while to download, so you can pause the video and whatever. So you will download this iFile right here. Just the first one. 
not need these other ones. Then you will go to iFile. And you're going to look in the same spot that you saved that VNC thing to. You go back to this var mobile downloads. You click on the VNC, you click on done, and then what it does is it basically just downloads it, and that takes a few seconds and you click done. You may need to stop restart once you're done with this. But next, what you need to do is to get the the program running. Now what you do, you go into your programs and the folder real VNC and for um, the other Windows XP, you know, the scroll thing, you can go to find the VNC and go to the things. Go to VNC user mode and the, those user settings. You know, for your authentication, you can you can make a password for this and your connections you have to say accept connections on port 5900 you may have to make sure you have that and then for the real thing how to work get it to work is real VNC viewer 4 there should be two the one the bottom I put on my desktop for easy access so you want to click on that you want to enter your IP address that you entered before you're in the Wi-Fi things say okay it may ask for this if you make a password enter your password and you don't need any username I'm not quite sure why that is oops say okay. and then voila it works so that is all that's a lot of stuff to do so just keep pausing it at, at, at your need and that is all you need to do to get this to work it doesn't work for all apps like Angry Birds but it does work for some apps like Air Coaster and it doesn't show stuff like YouTube but it's nice for tutorials and like I was saying texting it's really really easy to do it that way and then... okay here I'm going to show you what some of the settings or how you how to operate this if you put your cursor over something and you and you right click or left click actually sorry left click it counts as touching something and if you right click it count it it activates the home button and before I show you how to lock it I'm also going to quickly show you the um, the, t the SPS settings toggle you can get. Now what you can do with this is if you get this, then you can get the SPS setting toggles of VNC so you can turn off and on at your desire. And if you look, if you look in the settings, you can see they have a toggle screen for VNC. If you just scroll down a little bit, you can see VNC right here and this is where you can set your password and this is another way if you don't get the SPS settings toggle so that's that's how you can operate VNC just in case you're getting some errors and this is something um that I found I didn't know really happened but you can actually sometimes your um, IP address may change that just happened to me so when you're doing it your IP address may change if it suddenly doesn't work you can look in your settings so that's just uh, to keep a heads up for that and for the last thing I'm going to show you oops if you press this middle button right here box it and if, even if I show you my iPad right here press the middle button not touching anything you, you can lock it back and unlock it and that's all for today.